Welcome back to another review by Mega Trade Lover. Today we're having a look at the fourth, and in terms of the ones I'm reviewing, the final locomotive that I purchased at the London Festival of Railway Modelling. As mentioned in the Class 33 video, I did buy six locomotives, but uh, one of them is the Backman Class 108, which I've already done a review on. The only difference being that the one I brought this time is in BR Green instead of BR Blue and Grey. And the sixth locomotive is a Backman uh, 57 Pannier tank which failed the moment I brought it home and started it on the track. So I'm not going to be reviewing a failed engine. Anyway, uh, we're having a look, speaking of Backman, we're having a look at a Backman model. And this is one which I've been wanting for absolutely ages ages and ages and ages and ages and they're not too easy to come by but well at least from what I from what I've saw seen thankfully this one was right in front of me and I brought it at the same time as my rebuild like Pacific and I just couldn't resist it two models which I've been you know looking for for a very long time right in front of me I went for it straight away so, if we turn to the side, you can see the product code is 31-0113. It's a class 7F, number 53808, in BR Black with the late crest. And if we turn to the back, you can see you get a bit of information about the class. If we just extend it out. There we go. If you want to have a read, you can... There we go. So... The Class 7F, these were a class of about 11 engines, I think it was only 11 of them built. Um, they were built for the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway uh, between 1914 and 1924. And they were put to work on the, Somers uh, on the Somerset and Dorset. Well, six of them, yeah, six of them were built in 1914 and five of them were built in 1925. They were put to work on the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway. So, because that was a very, very steeply graded line, and these were built to work as freight engines, hence the classification 7F, um, these had to meet certain criteria. So, they had to be powerful enough to basically, you know, climb up the gradients, while at the same time, you know, they had to pull tons, you know, many, many hundreds of tons of goods trains. So, and they did it very well, you know, they were very, very capable haulers um, of, of, you know, mostly goods trains. But, the, you know, apparently they were quite, um, they were quite speedy as well. They are very, very um, useful on the Pines Express, particularly uh, piloting with other engines. But, you know, sometimes they could pull the Pines Express on their own, which is really, really nice. So... Uh, these engines were, so the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway itself closed in 1966, but sadly these, en you know, these engines, these engines were built for this line, they never got to see the line close, because they, they, they were all withdrawn uh, by 1964. Thankfully, two of these engines have been preserved, one of them is number 53809, the other one is this particular one, 53808. The reason why I brought this particular one, uh, 53808, is because I have ridden behind her on the Midhands Railway. She's currently on the Midhands um, because she's owned by the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway Trust, who've moved their base from um, Washford on the um, yeah Washford on the on the West Somerset Railway over to Olsford on the Midhands Railway, and this engine has one of the best sounding exhausts ever come across on any steam engine. Going up the grade, the 1 in 60 gradient from Alton up to Medstead and on the on the return from Ropley up to Medstead, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, you know, hearing that just made me want to buy this engine. And I, you know, I'm, I'm very glad I went for this particular one because obviously it's the one I've, I've seen. I've not, I've not seen the other one. I've not seen 53809 yet, but 53808, brilliant engine. This particular one was built in 1925. Anyway, let's uh, put the box to one side. And here 
is number 53808, the Backman Class 7F. Wow. Wow. What can I say? Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Gorgeous. Firstly, as usual, these two I've added myself. I've also added the brake pipe and this dummy chain link coupling. Yeah. Firstly, the weight. It's got quite a nice weight to it, which means it can pull plenty of uh, plenty of wagons as you know, as they were designed to do. Yep, it does have sprung buffers on all, both the engine and the tender as well. Just look at those wheels. Look at all that valve gear. Really, really nice. I mean, you know, I mean, they just they, this engine just looks powerful, doesn't it? Stunning. Now, of course, the delivery is very basic, but that's just oh, sorry, that's just the way it was. You know that that can't be helped it looks really really nice and this and she is in this exact livery so this particular condition she's in in model form is exactly how she appears in real life if we put it up front you can see it's very very characteristic look if the camera focuses doesn't seem to want to focus. Why is this camera so difficult at focusing? I've never, I never understand. Come on. Oh, let's just move on. Um, oh, there we go. See straight away. There it goes. There's its uh, shed plate. I think. Can't, can't actually read it. I'll have a look. Um, 82F. I think that's Bath Green Park. Well, it would be. I mean, that's where the engines were based. Um, but as mentioned. You know, this uh, in this particular condition, this is exactly how the engine is preserved with the laid crest and all. We turn to the other side now. It's a bit difficult because it's got the um, the usual arrangement with the the tender and the wire, as you can see. Yeah, it's got the usual arrangement, but um, you know, you just have to be careful basically when handling this. And there's the other side, which looks equally as nice. If the camera focuses again. So you get the lubricators, and you get the reversing bar, which is just there. As you can see, it's coming um, coming out from behind the the bell pair firebox. There's its number five three eight zero eight. There's the safety valves and the whistle. Now it's a very open cab, which means we can see what it's like. As you can see, the cab looks really really nice. You can clearly see the the cut off on the left. You can see the regulator, the brakes all the dials and the gauges very very nicely detailed cab and you know because it's an o it's a very open cab because of the tender you know it's important that you can see all the cab detail because you know you will notice it when it's running along yeah so here's a tender which is just your standard uh, Fowler tender one thing I've noticed I'm not entirely sure what these are sticking out if we just bring the camera to focus these here, I'm not entirely sure what these are. I think they look, I think they look to be uh, tablet catchers, but correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, one thing I'm not too keen on in the tender is the coal. That coal looks, it looks a bit fake. I know it is fake, but I mean, it's too shiny. It's, it's not the best, but I suppose you could cover it up with real coal, which is what I might do. So you get the water filler cap, and you get the back of the tender. Again, very, very typical Fowler tender you get NEM couplings on both the rear and on the on the front as well on the locomotive if we turn to the other side you can see it's just as nice there as well so yeah if, again cameras having difficulty focusing this this always happens there we go see so, yeah, all in all a beautiful engine very very beasty you know look I mean it just looks powerful as I mentioned it looks powerful doesn't it very very beasty beautiful and you know I've ridden behind her so I couldn't say you know it's a loco which I definitely want to in the collection after riding behind I've ridden behind her a couple of times but both times she just absolutely blew me away but will she blow me away in model form with her performance let's find out
So here we have the Bachmann 7F, number 53808, on the track. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a number, I think it's this one. Yeah, and watch her go. And off she goes. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful runner. Of course she has eight driving wheels and then six tender wheels pick up as well so I'd be very surprised if there was a loss of electrical contact but yeah brilliant runner let's get a few shots of her passing Yeah, really, really nice slow process. Very nice performer. Not much else to say, really. I love it. So, just to conclude this video, highly recommend it. If you can get hold of one for a good price, then I definitely recommend you go for it. I mean, I've spent ages trying to search for one for a good price, and I finally found it. And it's been absolutely worth, worth the wait. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.